What's up guys, it's Efo Blitz back at it again with another GTA 5 Online video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over the new facility in the Doomsday Update and if it's worth it. If you guys want to keep posting and when I upload, be sure to check out my Twitter at Efo Blitz. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to purchase a facility. I suggest you pick one that is most convenient for your location, but if you don't want to dump a lot of money in it, the money ranges from either $1,250,000 to $2,950,000. So that is almost $3 million, and that is without customizations. The customizations are facility style, facility graphics, orbital cannon, security room, lounge, and sleeping quarters. This is where shit gets very expensive. If you renovate your facility, you could customize it, such as changing the facility style, the facility graphics, and orbital cannon, and more rooms, basically. I'm gonna play some music as we go over the different customizations. Now, with all these extra customizations, you add an extra $3 million on top of it. Now, if you bought the $3 million facility, well, I don't know how to do math, but that's a shit ton of money. Now that we purchased our overpriced facility, it's time for the tour. I will cut in and out to answer some of the questions that you guys might have. Now for the background music, so it's not so damn quiet. This station right here allows you to edit multiple vehicles that you can store inside your facility. Already without $3 million worth of customizations, this thing is already very huge. As you can see, there's a number of doors that if you purchase, you could enter, adding different rooms. There's also a few trophies around my facility because I completed all three of the heists. Here's where you could start three of the brand new heights that they add in the Doomsday update. I already completed all three of them. The following three clips are payouts for each heist, all on hard with having an 80% cut. The first one is the data breaches. This second one is probably the most efficient out of them all and it's called the Bogman problem. This last one is the hardest in my opinion, but it pays the most. So it would be somewhat worth it to replay it. It's called the Doomsday Scenario. Now in conclusion, is the facility worth it? Yes, it is worth it. Is the customizations worth it? No. Is a better location worth it? No. Get the cheapest facility and do the heist. You will make money. I hope everyone enjoys this new Doomsday update as it is a lot of fun. I hope everyone enjoys this video. If you did, be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and share the video for more GTA 5 online content in the near future. If you guys want to keep posting when I upload, be sure to check out my Twitter at EFO Blitz. And without further ado, roll the outro. Peace out, guys.